Hey everybody! Uh, sorry, <laughs> lost track of time because my phone was my phone is being stupid today. But hey, hey everybody! Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Crimson Plays Assassin's Creed, where today we're starting a new game. Last week we finished Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and today we're starting the next game in the series, Assassin's Creed Revelation. Um. Now, before we actually get start, like, I'm gonna... Oh. Sorry, I just... Twitch finally reconnected on my phone, and I just came in really loud in my ears. But anyway, um... Yeah, so, I... This... The, the theme song, the menu theme song, or whatever it's called for, for this game, is one of my favorites from this series. So before I actually get started into the game and all of that, I'm going to swap over to uh, the full screen and so that you can hear it. Oh, so good. But, uh, before that, I just wanted to say hi. How y'all doing? Hey. Um, unfortunately, it's another Monday, but hey, it's, you know, could be a good Monday for all I know. Um, but anyway. Uh, make sure you guys take a second. Hydrate. Stretch your back, shoulders, and neck. Relax any muscles or anything that might be currently tense or you might be clenching without necessarily realizing it. And um, in the process, I'll go through a little bit of uh, some a few, a few announcements. Um, so normally, uh, first off, normally this week, would this Wednesday would be the normal, like the, because if you're a follower of my channel and have checked in regularly, you would know that uh, every other week, every other Wednesday, uh, Yvonne B, Melador219, Blue, and I get together and we play some Terraria on, uh, and stream it. Um, unfortunately, uh, as, as far as I'm aware, um, and I'd forgotten this last, on last Tuesday when I talked, when I actually said that it would be this week, um, normally it would be, but, uh, I hadn't thought about the fact that, uh, Melador is not going to be home this week. And as such, uh, I don't think that we're going to be able to play Terraria. I could be wrong, um, and I'll let you guys know if I am, uh, but I'm assuming that there's no Terraria this week. However, due to this week being the last week of the month, um, that, mean, that does mean, however, that this coming Saturday will be the next session of Dungeons & Dragons on Yvonne B's twitch channel um that's that will be uh saturday evening at 6 30 p.m central 7 30 p.m eastern i think um pay more attention uh, pay attention to her channel for more information on that um things may change etc etc et but as things stand at this exact moment and to my knowledge this is the case <laughs> um but yeah, let's go ahead and swap over here. And now just... Oh, I love this song so much. We're kind of coming in in the middle of it, but... Um... That voice is so amazing. I love it so much. I, this is this is just gonna be the stream. The whole stream is just me listening to this, and mm, I love this song so much. Uh, anyway, you you guys can look it up on your own uh, on YouTube. It's, it's there. Uh, the Assassin's Creed Revelation. We can keep him like this for a few days, maybe a week. Call ahead. Tell him we're on our way. As soon as we're clear. Desmond Miles. Your life has changed so much in so little time. Two months ago, you were pouring shots for bankers and celebrities. But now look at you. You're an assassin. One of us. One of the good guys. Isn't that nice? Men and women dedicated to protecting and preserving human life and liberty. 
Not like those Templars. Cold and calculating autocrats, drunk on power, obsessed with order, all that. We're doing our best to stop them. <laughs> yeah. Doing our best. <laughs> but you remember all this, right? You remember the Animus, the machine we use to unravel genetic memories and relive the lives of our ancestors? First, you were Altair, a stoic 12th century assassin from the Holy Land. Then, you were Ezio Auditore, a wealthy Italian with charisma and a talent for revenge. So, what do you three have in common? That's right, the Apple of Eden. <laughs> That strange Fucking artifact man. left behind by those people. The ones who came before. You know the Apple's power. You felt it for yourself. <laughs> oh, it's been fun, hasn't it, Desmond? But that's about to change. Your mind is fragmented, falling to pieces. And if you don't find a way to wake up, you may lose yourself forever. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, okay, I, I shut, shut down, down the Animus monitoring system, system to free up a lot of memory, but even like this, it's still risky. Desmond will be fine. The partition worked, the Animus is stable, and his signs are good. For now. But this was built to recreate memories, not simulate entire cognitive processes. The Animus will do its part, and Desmond will do the rest. I love that the uh, shirt and his hoodie have swapped colors. The, he, he normally needs a white hoodie with a black shirt with an eagle on it, but now it's a white shirt with an eagle on it and a black hoodie. I also love that they added eagle wings on the back of his hoodie, because that's not normally there if I remember correctly. Okay, what is... Why camera, why camera glitching? Actually, is that the camera glitching, or is that my... Hold, please. Might be graphic. Hold, please. Okay. Um, okay. Not quit the window. I might have to quit the window. But. Yeah, I might have to quit the windows. Hold, please. Yeah, it's... Hmm. Yep. That's not good. Um... Yeah, let me... Do that. And then... One moment, please. While everything goes with the haywire. One moment, please. You know, it wasn't doing this when I was, um, when I tested it. But then again, to be fair, I didn't do much of the way of testing. Just set it up so that it would work on OBS. I guess. Um. Game.
Yeah, 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 I know. Because they no longer use the Uplay, the online stuff doesn't work. I... Uh, I bet I, I bet it is. I bet I know what the problem is. Okay, it is probably crap. Uh, let's see here. Um, I don't think it's bad. One moment. Okay, so I am going to actually pop that back up to 144 for Come on. Yep. And I'll try it with just the V-Sync off first, see if that does anything. Ha! Nope. <clears throat> okay. Uh, down to 50 for... Now, if it w if this wasn't happening in the loading screen when it came in, I would think that it would be doing this on purpose. Let me drop it down to... Uh, get that up. Note to self, actually hit the accept button. I need to restart my computer? I don't know why I would need to restart my computer. Again, if it didn't, if it wasn't doing it in the loading screen there, I would think that it would be on purpose because the whole they fucked with the animus to make it to save his brain. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Is there a default, uh, reset to default option? Somewhere? No, because that would be that would be too easy. Me a moment with a moment longer than you already have been.
<sighs> Welcome to Crimson Plays Assassin's Creed, where he spends the whole time troubleshooting, trying to get things to work properly. I'm just quickly verifying game files. So, just make sure that everything's installed properly. Riveting content, isn't it? <clears throat> In theory, this won't take too long. In theory. Validated. Um, now it's installing the right thing, but that's how it works. Direct that. Ah, <clears throat> uh, good. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna. Sw I should have done this a while ago, but I'm gonna. Oh, wait, nope, we're good. Okay. Okay. 
just to be sure, you know, let's, let's do... down to a, a thing that I know you work on. Maybe it is part of the game. Did I really waste all this time because it's part of the game? Maybe it stabilizes if I keep going. Um, uh, I mean, because there's no reason that should be that it should be doing that, unless there's. Oh, yeah, no, there's, there's. Fine, I'll drop it to the lowest fucking thing. Drop to the lowest fucking thing. Damn it. I... We'll, we'll, we'll drop it to the lowest resolution. That's the word. This. Pardon me, things are gonna get a, bit, a little bit wonky. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. And it's still doing it. Oh, wow. Look at, look at that. That's some, like... Phone quality bullshit there. Wow. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright, alright, okay. Jesus. So many options. Okay. Um uh, let's put it back on this. That up. Nope, nope. on that. I'm gonna, I need to completely... <sighs> I said, I'll have. Thank you. But I need to actually be able to see OBS. I know. Shocking. Like I rearranged my... Fuck, what are they called? My, uh... It's like I changed my resolution settings or something. That. Which I only check. Oh. One more. I just realized. Um. That. Um. That. Nope, not that. That's not right. Pardon me while things get a little wonky. You know what? I'm just gonna... One moment.
Okay. I apologize for that. Um, I did a quick Google search and found out that it's a common, it's, it's a relatively common bug that happens from uh, it went on Windows 10. I haven't experienced it before, but maybe I have. I don't, and I just don't remember. Regardless, it's fixed. As you can see, no more graphical glitching. I again greatly apologize. <sighs> All right, let's get this officially started. All right. So I came in over here talking about how awesome it was that they swapped the, the color, the colors of his shirt and his jacket. I also like how they added the wings on the back of the jacket. All right. Just walk right past me. 16? No, they didn't tell you my name. Oh, God damn it, I'm still in the Animus? Quite a shock you suffered out there. Rebecca, get me out of here. They can't help you, Desmond. You're a broken man. Your mind is broken. Broken. You feel fine. So did I. Hey. <laughs> Look at me now. Let's talk, buddy. Walk with me. What is this place? It's nice, isn't it? We're in the guts of the Animus. The original test program. No memories here, just basic physics, weather simulations. Hello, world. You're lucky someone up there had the sense to plug you in here. It saved your life. Saved it from what? Right now, you should be sitting in a hospital ward, drooling and chewing on your tongue. For now, the Animus is keeping you intact. Keeping all your ancestors from collapsing into one big mess. But if you can't find a sync nexus, all those personalities will smash together. And that won't be pretty. A sync nexus? I'm getting there. Hold on. There. That thing is your way out. You're screwing with me. Here's the problem. Your brain is hash. Too many ghosts in your head, too many voices. So how do you fix that? You claw the your way back to the store gone data, word, gone you find unfinished memories, and you crack them open. Finish what you started, until your ancestor has nothing left to show you. That is a sync nexus. And when you find it, the Animus can separate Desmond from Ezio and Altair and send you home. Back to your body. How do you know all this? Because it happened to me. But my body, it's worm food now. So I'm stuck here. A word of warning? When you step through there, everything changes. Nothing feels normal. But you are still in control, and it's up to you to find your way out. Right. If you hurry, you might make it back in time for Lucy's funeral. What? Ah! Oh. I thought you knew. Lucy. I'm so sorry. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was that voice. Juno. She took hold of me. She made me. Basically, fleeting effect gone bad results in Desmond's brain being mush. It's what happened to uh, Subject 16. Like he just said, it's what happened it's to him. Sean, what's going on? Let me talk to him. Did you? Hold on. I'm putting you on speaker. Sean, it's William. Is everything taken care of? Oh, well, hello to you, too. For Christ's sakes, man, have some class. All right, calm down. Oh, that's rich. Yeah, Lucy's dead, and you want me to act like it's Easter Sunday, do you? How's Desmond, anyway? Giving in. That's enough, Sean. What if he's a Templar, Bill? Eh? What if he's been programmed? It's happened before. No. 
Not Desmond. Right. You would say that. Sean. Because he's still alive and comatose, he can still hear occasionally what's happening around him. And that was a phone conversation that just happened. Um, the person that it's happened before um, involved that that is referencing some stuff that happened obviously before, but like uh, they they'll go more into it. We'll line to find out more about that. Um, but what I was going to say is uh, in Assassin's Creed One, we find out that subject set sixteen Desmond is su subject seventeen, so the subject prior to him. Um, Clay is, uh, was in there, uh, they did the same things that they did to Desmond, except they were much more harsh, resulting in the bleeding effect reaching this point much sooner and, you know, without the help of an apple of Eden. Um, and he, uh, he, 16, cut himself open and started drawing symbols and stuff in his own blood. Um, he then, uh, but he it was all while he was still in the animus, so his brain was in that original Abstergo animus. Uh, like what they've done to Desmond, they've dumped his consciousness, his brain, into the system. Um, and so now the, essentially the ghost of Clay is helping, essentially the ghost of Desmond claw his way back to his body. Um... Clay would, in theory, be able to get back to his body, except that his body is, as he said, worm food. Um, and, yeah. Uh, and we still don't know much about... One of the things I love is... So, like, I'm pushing the... I'm clicking the button, right? This is the same button that I would normally click to have the avatar, like, just ambiently extend the hidden blade, right? Which was the thing Desmond's been able to do in the last two games. This, uh, Brotherhood and two. Because he had his own hidden blade at that point. And so, you know, however, he doesn't have his hidden blade on him. But he still acts like it because and the reason for that is because he still has his hidden blade attached to him in real life and so he's able to feel that but his brain and his body aren't connected at the moment so he can't tell his body they aren't fully connected so he can't tell his body to actually eject the blade and stuff like that it's clever i mean it's also probably it's also most likely that it's just uh not most likely but it's also very likely that it's a uh ooh, we'll get to that Will let me actually say anything about these now, or will that be just be later? Um, it's also possible that they just didn't, you know, remove the thing. However, it's still theoretically possible that that's a concept that would make sense. Because it's, it's a thing that makes sense to me. It may not be something they intended. But, alright. So I'm not going to mess with those yet, because I know there's a story point to them later. Um... I'm getting pissed off at my phone. But yes, welcome to Animus Island. Let's see if there's actually anything in here. Probably not. I mean, probably not any collectibles in here or anything like that. But. Yeah, no. Alright, we'll go ahead and dive on in officially. So. Uh, I was thinking that because of the because the initial half an hour of the stream was troubleshooting, um, I'm going to go half an hour over to make up for it. Claudia, my dearest sister. I have been in Acre a week now, safe and in high spirits, but prepared for the worst. 
The men and women who have fed and sheltered me here also give me warning that the road to Masyaf is overrun by mercenaries and bandits, not native to this land. What this could mean, I dread to guess. When I first set out from Roma ten months ago, I did so with a single purpose, to discover what our father did not. In a letter written the year before my birth, he makes mention of a library hidden beneath the stones of Masyaf Castle. A sanctum full of invaluable wisdom. Masayaf being the original. So what will I that. find when I arrive there? I'll Who will you. greet me? And them. A host of eager Templars, as I fear most strongly. Or nothing but the whistling of a cold and lonely wind. Masyaf has not been home to the Assassins for almost 300 years now. Can we still claim it for our own? Are we welcome there? Ah, uh, I am wary of this fight, Claudia. Not because I am tired, but because our struggle seems to move in one direction only, towards chaos. Today, I have more questions than answers. This is why I've come so far, to find clarity. To find the wisdom left behind by the great Altair. So that I may better understand the purpose of our fight and my place in it. I remember when I first saw the trailer for this. The trailer for this game was essentially this opening scene right here. And should anything happen to me, Claudia, should boy. my skills fail me or my ambition lead me astray, do not seek retribution or revenge in my memory. But fight to continue the search for truth. Chills when so I that all here. may benefit. My story is one of many thousands. And the world will not suffer if it ends too soon. My story is one of thousands. And the world will not suffer if it ends too soon. He's got gray in his beard and stuff. He's got old. It's like time pass. Ibn Lahad. Uh, uh, okay, let's see here. So Altair, we know a decent bit about him up through the Third Crusade. Um, Altair stunned even his mentor, his attentive mentor, all. Al Mualim, we know how that ended. Um, Altair's name was uh, by almost single handedly routing a, wa ra a wave of Crusader soldiers from the steps of Masayaf Castle, which started the, uh, uh, the first Assassin's Creed game. Um, Altair's name was known to all assassins. Uh, over the next two years, his reputation as a stubborn but deadly fighter eclipsed every minor detail of his mysterious life. Uh, loved by loved by few, but admired by all, his impeccable talents were the source of both his incredible successes and his overbearing arrogance. But this was only half the story. Since you since you ugh, since youth, Altier had shown signs of possessing a rare sixth sense that allowed him unprecedented access to the emotions and intentions of his opponents and allies, dubbed Eagle Vision by his fellow assassins. Altair honed and perfected this sense in secret, always wondering if this curious ability that set him apart from the rest would prove a liability. Thanks to the memories stored in Altair's five Masayaf keys, we can now get a good glimpse of the man himself, instead of settling for vague glimpses through the Templars' frankly primitive Animus 1.28 Avatar Projection System, which is the one from the first game. Get him, you fools! So, all right, let's see what's new. What's new? Um, all right, so we got DNA. Ooh, that's a lot. 
Eh, probably not as much as it looks. Um, Alright, so we have armor, weapons, flies, bombs. We get bombs. Bombs. Items. Outfits. Hey, we could run around as Desmond from Brotherhood. Look at that. Old man to ear. Aww. Turk is this. Turkish assassin armor. Interesting. Altair's robes. And the armor of Brutus from Brotherhood. Uh, Brotherhood had also had the uh, Alti uh, the armor of Altair, which was from Assassin's Creed 2. So you, they had the ultimate armor from each prior game as, a, um, as an outfit you could wear at this point. Um, so yeah. Okay. Then here's the map. Oh, Masaya. Oh, nostalgia. I know it's only been a year since I play last played Assassin's Creed 1, but it makes me sad. All right, we got Altair ibn Lahad Clay, subject 16. Hello, I'm Clay. I'm not even going to try to say that last name, and I'm an, I am a number. Subject 16. Yes, we're all reducible, uh, re reducible in the end. Right, 17, just numbers, ones and zeros. I approved that the day before I offed myself. I created this little artificially intelligent construct. That's what it is. Not his ghost. It's an artificially intelligent construct. Talking to you now, using the Animus and its incredible simulation capabilities. I copied myself, snapped that copy into two dozen pieces, and scattered them around these databanks. You found them, and p you pieced me back together. Not bad, eh? Teamwork. It's the... The troop. The rifts at the, and the glyphs that we were finding in Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood. Um, th those are the pieces that we, we've been assembling. Uh, word on the street, of course, is that... Clay, the real Clay, the assassin, Lucy's teammate... He isn't alive anymore. He slit his wrists, if I heard right. Damn shame I never got to see that for myself, but I can imagine my head was, pardon me, his head was swimming with images of his last moments for weeks. Uh, like he was rehearsing it, planning just how he'd do it. I hear he even got around to finger painting on the walls of his cell before checking out. Is that right? Uh, is that right? Mad bastard, I miss him. I really do. Is it possible to miss yourself? Sorry, this is getting confusing. The real Clay is gone and I have taken his place. Good enough, right? Good enough to still call me cousin, right, Desmond? Because they're all related. Uh, very distant cousins, you and me, because some somewhere back along our extensive family chains, we both have Ezio to thank for the gift of life. Both of us are related to him, and both of us have had nice little jaunts through his memory. Although I had access to far fewer memories than you did. Figure, the one, uh, figure that one out. I guess that's why you're so special. You're the convergence of several amazing bloodlines. But not me. No, I was just a promising lead, a stepping stone to get to you. Oh well, I played my part. What more can I what more can a man say? Very little, it turns out. Aw. Alright, so Masaya, Capotia, Constantinople, Greek fire, and thieves. Okay. Alright, so. Uh, make your way to Masayev's Central Keep. Kill a Byzantine Templar with a counter kill. Oh, and now we have one for Ezio. Let's see here. Ezio Artore da Firenze, son of Giovanni and Maria. Uh, born into luxury and leisure in 1459, Ezio spent the first 17 years of his life honing his rakish, uh, his rakish personality and ravishing looks. Uh, women excited him, wine flushed him, and politics bored him. Uh, the streets of Florence were his home, and I doubt he had much interest in anything outside his walls. All that changed in 1476. Yep, 1476 went on trumped up charges of treason. His father and brothers were jailed and sentenced to death. It was then that Ezio learned the truth about his beloved father, that he was an assassin, one of an elite group of freedom fighters dedicated to preserving and protecting human liberty and the exercise of free will. Following his father's brutal execution at the hands of a, formal, a former friend, Ezio went underground and joined the assassins himself. Over the next three decades, 
Ezio dedicated himself to two parallel pursuits to find and kill Rodrigo Borgia, the man most responsible for the deaths of his father and brothers, and to strengthen the assassin's order. Um, Rodrigo, yeah, Rodrigo proved to be a challenge, and it took Ezio some 20 years to corner and defang him, by which point our hero's thirst for vengeance had softened. But sparing Pope Rodrigo turned out to be a strange blessing, for it was through the old man's meddling that Ezio caught his first glimpse of the one that the ones that came before. Um, a mysterious race of people who lived many millennia before recorded human history. Ezio did not understand the messages left behind by the First Order, but he never forgot what he saw either, and he scored a pretty cool artifact for all his pains too, the Apple of Eden. So that was essentially a summary of, of Assassin's Creed 2. This is an Assass uh, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood summary. I'm not going to read all of it. Uh, as Ezio matured in these later years, so did many of his stranger abilities, not least of which was his rare form of extrasensory perception. You know what we assassins call eagle sense. In mo uh, You know what we assassins call eagle sense in its most robust form. Uh, <clears throat> we can't be certain where eagle sense comes from. But we've got ideas. Remnants of ancient liaisons between our forebears and the ones that came before. Probably. Uh, it's hard to say how, but truth is str a stranger than fiction. In any case, Eagle Sense was strong with Ezio. Uh, I got a little taste myself in the short time I spent with him, but since my time with him went dark much sooner than yours did, I never got the... Sorry. Uh, anyway. Uh... Uh, oh, it's a bird outside of the um, Got the full experience. I, I never got the full experience, but you, Desmond, because of the Animus' bleeding effect, your time with Ezio and with Aldir has awakened your latent senses in ways few could have imagined. You can thank Mr. Autotore for that, for doing all his homework, so you don't have to. Hey, look, counter kill. Done. Damn this blizzard! He could be anywhere! Yes, he could. But he's right here. I'm gonna leave your body. Because why not? What the hell are you standing around for? Skunk Make yourself useful! I love that they're showing me where to go with Altair. I love it. One blade broke, got broken. And now he has a sword, too. Okay, so we have poison darts, throw money, throwing knives. We have hidden blade, poison blade, the assassin Yatakan sword. I probably butchered that. Alright, um... Oops, nope. Um... Actually, no. Uh, put that there. Nope. That there. Okay. Um, oops, I did not mean to push that button. Give me that back. Come on. Now. All right, you guys got anything on you? Looking for preferably ammunition? Let's put up for Bachelor of Force. Oh. Hey, Rose. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I got a bullet. Cool, cool, cool. I was hoping for that. Uh, let's, uh, let's put that on. I'm 
glad you could make it, Rose. How have you been? It's Monday, that's true and fair. Alright, so he wants me to go keep going up. I will not yet. I'm going to go a little, do a little bit of running around, see what I can find. Did you have a good Monday at work, or is, was it just a Monday Monday? they had him climb the non-broken wall there. Because that's legit. Monday, Monday? Well, I'm sorry for that. Lamb's blood. Interesting. He wants me to go this way. Oh, they have a, an eagle gargoyle. Look at that. Aww. Very lucky that that was there, bruh. <laughs> this guard be like, what the hell? Real quick. Open for more bullets. Medical. Wow, take that Check that out. Nope. And nothing for you either. Looty loot loot loot. Ooh, I got two bullets from that one. Up to five. Hey, look at that. Progress. Didn't want to talk to him, but okay. Be merciful, please. I am a working man with the family. Doing what kind of work? Digging mostly. 
It took me a year to find this chamber, and for the past three months I've been trying to break through this door. You've not made much progress. I have not made a dent. This stone is harder than steel. I doubt you will. This door is guarding objects more valuable than all the gold in the world. Oh, do you mean gemstones? You wish, dude. There are keyholes here. Where are the keys? These Templars found one beneath the Ottoman Sultan's palace. As for the others, I suppose the little book will tell them. What book? A journal of some kind. That ugly captain, he carries it with him wherever he goes. Go home. Find work with honest men. Oh, I would love to leave this place. But these men, they will murder me hey, if I try. this guy. Pack your tools. He's gonna give back the bag of money. I love it. Do not fail a single tale. Ugh. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right. Well, let me loot the bodies now. Oh, I can't loot this one. Throwing knives are full. Okay. Good. 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 All right. Throwing. Looted that one already. The yeah, the one I just looted. Um, and okay, and that body's already spawned because I looted it already. Well, not because I looted it already, but I did loot it already. Give me just a second because I need to check the key bind because that was something that I didn't know, that I forgot to check. That's what I thought. There we go. There we go. That's much better. All right. Oh, we're in Al Mualim's library. Oh, and I do remember there used to be a door here. That they've obviously ripped down or was bricked, had bricked up and then ripped down. Oh, there was a flag over here. Bunch of scrolls. Out there is where I killed Al Mualim. Interesting. Oh, up here. So much to talk. And here's Al Mualim's death. At some point, he just, he, Althir jumps out the window. Okay. You know. Okay. That actually updated. It, oh, but, that updated his. Database entry. Let's see how it updated his database entry. Um... Nope, okay, so it didn't update his database entry. Okay, so my question is can I eat myself out the window? Nope. Okay. All right. Oh, like coming home, kinda. The assassin must not get his hands on that book. When we reach Leandros, we will escort him out of the village. Leandros. You stay behind and make sure we're not followed. Will will he? Find the Templar captain to retrieve the journal, and I cannot fail a single tale. I love that, that guy. Hold on, let me go back in there. I love that he's trying to walk, but the other two are blocking him. Oh, down there's the fighting ring. I'm actually going to do this. Come on. 
Come on. Or not. Woo! Ezio picked up some new moves. Loot the body for more ammunition and stuff. I'm gonna go put this guy out of his misery. Hey, man. I love that these two on the ground are going, What the hell hit me? What the hell? the parachutes over from Brotherhood. Templars are gathering in the village, tail at least one to their destination. All these people are the are, are potentially the descendants of people who uh, knew Altair. Potentially, not necessarily, but potentially. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to actually pick your pocket, but okay. Sorry, lady. You don't want. You don't want to. Trust me. I know you're pissed and you want your money back, but you don't want to. I didn't mean to. I was just trying to walk a little bit faster without running. It's so good to be back in Masaya. None of you leave until the assassin is dead. Do you understand? Ignore me, Kirillo. But he seems to have found us. Panic! Panic! Hundred percent think. So far, so good. Poor Ezio. 
if he was being if he was considered old by doctors back in brotherhood what are you doing oh even more now oh 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 I think I climbed up faster than it wanted me to. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't ready to give me the cutscene yet. So good with them beautiful set pieces. through a bunch of old ruins here. I think I was a little too aggressive. Ooh. Careful. Winding up longer than your opponent will deal damage. Okay.
You've got gray in your hair, you're not a spring chicken anymore. You're like 50 now. <laughs> a hard ride, no shit. Oh, take your eyes off this road for a moment. Do you understand me? Nothing gets through. Well, well. Look what crawled out of its hole to die. He's at death's door. Finish him off. Bring me his head, or throw yourselves into the canyon. Don't worry, they won't have to throw themselves into the canyon. The Templar captain, Leandros, has left you to die. Find and kill him, then retrieve the journal. Kill at least five guards from a haystack. Simple enough. Nope. I really love that in the years since Brotherhood, Ezio has picked up some new fighting moves. Loot box. Right, so I actually have some medicine. I'll be using some here in a second. Health is a little low. Uh, nope, I don't have medicine. It got rid of the medicine I looted. Chat, that, that base. Okay. Where am I going? This way. Oh, they, it's because they want him limping like he is. Kind of like the beginning of, near the beginning of Brotherhood. I love that they're giving me a tutorial on how to avoid detection and stuff. Anything worth it? Gun coil. Cool. Such a bad. This used to be so easy. Yeah, you also used to be twenty. And younger. Now, you see here, let me just do the, push this button real quick. Like, if I remember correctly, like in Brotherhood, there is, oh, no, they actually just have proper tutorial. Um, yeah, okay, we'll do it. I'll, eh, not gonna worry about it. Hey, SEO, that's not what I, put him down. Leave him to rest. <laughs> Follow the Templar captain's trail. But before I do that, I'm going to pause, and we're going to take a bit of an intermission here in a second. I have to Alt tab before I can. Um, because I have to change the settings real quick. Um, yeah, we're gonna take a bit of an uh, intermission. Um, just as a in, uh, just as general information, I will be going half an hour later than normal because to make up for the um the thirty minutes that of technical difficulties at the start. Um, so yeah, I will be doing that, and we'll be going to an intermission here in just a second. I'll see you guys in about five minutes.
and I'm back. Uh, I was chatting. I was in the chat, but um, welcome to Desi. Glad you could make it. Glad to see you here. And um, Rose. I do on a regular basis, but I appreciate it. All right, let's go kill these guards in the haystack. Oh. All right, so Eagle Vision is upgraded. As you can see, um, he's now able to actually show tracks of where patro patrol routes are. You would. You would, Rose. One. Okay, so that's where Leandros went. Another trader? Hey guys, see me? Come investigate. No? No investigation? Rude. Where do you think that one's from? Are, are you gonna come investigate? Somebody? There we go. Now he's coming. I don't see him. Come investigate, man. Come on. Right here. Another string. Womp womp. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know you're having a hard time, Ezio. But you can't climb, can you? Nope. Okay, they're gonna come back. Come on, guys, come investigate. I, I want to kill you guys, I do. I know that man. That's a good way to soon just another knot. Thank you, thank you, Jess PR for the follow. If I know you in real life, please let me know and I will say hi. If I don't know you in real life, thank you anyway. Yeah, I will still say hi. How are you? There you go. Come on. Come on. You, you can still see me. Come on. Investigate. What could I possibly have done in this? Come on. Come on, man. You watched me jump into this hay bale. Come here. A good spot. Alright, so that's three of the five I need. Your Another turn. stranger. Come on. Come on. Come on. That one looks familiar. Hmm. All right. Hey, you there, Denos. Bruh, I'm right Wait, here. I'm right here. Cloak. Come on. Wait a minute. He could be. Shank. All right. Street a little bit. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm just gonna walk behind you real quick. Don't mind me. You saw nothing, sir. Even though you guys are supposed to be unarmed for uh, on guard for anybody wearing a hood. <laughs> Wait, what's over? Is this just back to this street? Yeah, that's back to this street. Okay. Come on. Alright, so 
this guy moved on. Oh, coming around. Need to kill one more guy from a haystack. Okay. Leandros went that way. Ooh, a guard walks right past this. Oh, hello. Speaking of. Could be in here. here. And we are. And that's all five. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Poor Ezio. You know. He's having a rough time. Leandros went this way. I'm just coming over here to say hi to my friends. Don't worry about it. Could it be that you are every bit as deadly as the legends say? Even when severely injured, I am, yes. Or am I in charge of an army of drunk swinging sticks? I mean, that is absolutely right true this as way, well. Ezio. Nowhere left to run now! Not for me, and not for you. I mean, that's pretty badass. Kill that dog! Cut him down! I'm not locked in here with you, you're Let locked in here with go, me! Go. Let's go, bitches. <laughs> Bodies, please have someone with a medicine thing. Hey, yes, please, and thank you. I did. There we go. Now he's no longer. That dulls the pain. That dulls the pain, which means it's probably cocaine. Acrobatic abilities recovered. All right. So. Check the mission, shall we? Okay, so I just need to reach him and kill him. Got it. All right. Um, and he is now. Ah, on the other side of the thing here. Okay. Here, I wonder where this is compared to not say Huh. Anyway. Um. All right. Well, we got a guy there. We got some guys there. Alright, uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got to work with? Um, hidden blade. Ooh, poison darts. Uh, well, that's actually the poison blade. We want poison dart here. And we've got these here. And we'll put that there for now. And that there for now. And. Yep, alright. Let's see what we got. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, you couldn't stab him on the ground, Ezio. You had to pick him up and then stab him. Okay, so we 
We got another guy. We got two guys there. We got a couple guys in the street. Um, do we have any indication of where Leandros is at this point? Probably in that. Ooh, I could just yeet the faith off the roof here. Uh, do I want to? Yeah, I'm gonna eat a faith off the roof. Right past these guards. Don't mind me. Just gonna climb this wall here. Oh, shoot. Can I, can I kill you? Yes, I can. Okay. So let's, um... I am indeed your man, but don't worry about it. I'm also a little busy. Uh, let's get my sword back. Actually, actually. I want to pick. Nope, I don't want to pick up the body. Etsy! What? Yikes! Where did he go? I'm sorry. Nope. Okay, hold on. I keep trying to, uh, I fucked myself up. Don't worry about it. Come on. There we go. And then, put that there. Okay. I mean, yeah. Ow. Rude. Am I on medicine? I have more. Alright. Loot the bodies. I always recommend looting the bodies early on, um, especially if it's like an uh, uh, even like throughout the entire thing if it's um, Brotherhood, because that's some of the best uh, that's some of the best way to get uh, items to sell. But in this game, early on, you definitely want to loot the bodies so that you get ammunition and stuff in these first segments. I definitely recommend that. I hear someone complaining. Oh, that's right, because I slammed somebody on his back up here. <laughs> can I just... Can, can I just... Nope, I can't just... Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Because... Oh, wait. Nope, I wanted to loot you first. Sorry. Sorry. Give me a second. I'm just going to... that. Pick you up. And I'm going to put you out of your misery. I wanted to try to pick up, if I can find one. Nope, apparently they don't have them available to pick up at the moment. Okay, well, climbing we go. Nope. Oh, it helps if I'm actually looking at the wall. Yeah, it's like everything here is 300 years old, I feel. At least. Alright. Almost there. That's not where I meant. I mean, that is where I meant, but that's not where you were supposed to. Do you worst, Malaga? I mean, you're literally killing your own guys trying to kill me. You're like the worst leader. What does it take to kill you, eh? Why will you not die? Don't you ever stop, Blade. It glitched a little bit there. Well, the old hound still has a bite. 
The book you carry, where is it? Ah, Niccolo Polo's journal. Niccolo Polo. you no good. Not now. We have found one of the Masyaf keys already, and are closing in on the rest. What is in that library is not for you, not for the Templars. Ah, you can have Altair's books, Ezio. We only want guidance. We only want direction. To the location of the Grand Temple. Uh, Grand Temple? Tell me more, now. I mean, you just stabbed him, dude. Requiescat in pace, bastardo. I'm going to loot his body. Nope. Oh, well, I did successfully loot his body. We'll see if it actually gives me anything. <laughs> this apple. It is a remarkable piece of work. Feel the material, hard as steel, but very light. You really want to be fooling with that thing? I do. I absolutely do. I have been waiting a long time oh, to get John my hands on one of these. Okay, you're making me nervous, Phil. Don't be. I don't think I have the right genes to properly wield it. Oh, but Desmond, you think he does? Hmm. William slash Bill. We've, that's the name we've seen. Welcome back, Rose. William slash Bill, that's the name we've seen numerous that? times. By you were point. snooping, wandering outside the Desmond partition. So once the Animus located you, it pulled you back here. It's just following orders. Like a... a fail-safe program. Trying to keep your poor head intact. Whether you like it or not. What are you doing here exactly? Playing. Learning. Waiting. A lot of waiting. I keep the Animus distracted as best I can. For you, so you can explore. Otherwise, it might hunt you down like a little virus. Can't, don't have a blade. Delete you. Plus, it wouldn't do any good. Well, because we're all just my digital aid. fragments at this point. There's no such thing. Yeah, I... Thanks. Desmond's brain is in a, is in a computer at the moment. Because he's in a coma. No weapons and no ability to kill him, even if I wanted to. Sean, Besides, he's me. subject What's 16. Happening? Are you at the airport? Yeah, we're chartering a jet. Are you coming? Yes, yeah, I'll be there. Fellow assassin and a cousin. Good. They, they buried her already. They heard. The little cemetery outside Rome. Nice yep. place. You can't throw him though. Oh God, things oh, got so actually. fucked up so fast. Is Desmond still out? Yeah, we're seeing a lot of brain activity, but the monitoring system shut down. We can't record anything. Well, keep me posted, okay? I'll see you soon. But, um, yeah. The, um, what I was going to say, what I was starting to say about, uh, William. Uh, his name appeared numerous times in Brotherhood in the emails from the Assassin's headquarters. Uh, William M., he seems to be their uh, their boss, essentially, um, and so he shows up. They, uh, they called him when Des when they had when they uh, were on their way when they had narrowed down the apple at the end of the previous game, and uh, he showed up just in, essentially just after Desmond shanked Lucy under the control while well, he was under the control of the apple. Um, and uh, William has been hanging around, and uh, apparently, um, as well as Rebecca and Sean, just yeah, shanky shanky. Yep. Um. But yeah, no. Even if it, even if I could murder him, I can't because most of the times that uh, Subject Sixteen slash Clay shows up is in. Uh, Cutscene.
I love I love the animation in this game sometimes. And the concepts. They be clever. Alright. Thank you, Shake. Alright. Out of curiosity, what happens if I do that? Oh, that's right there. Right. And that's not the button I meant to push. Alright, let's go back into the SEO fragment, shall we? Oh, fragment. Dear sister. Mazyov is overrun by a battery of Templars, and their motive is clear. They desire the secrets locked away in Altair's library. Secrets they believe will lead them to something called the Grand Temple. Whether or not this is true, I do know the library is real. I have seen its door for myself. But none can enter. Not without five keys, which were sent to Constantinople with Nicolo Polo almost 300 years ago. Claudia, I must find these keys. The Templars have already located one, and I do not know how difficult it will be to find the others. Only time, skill, and a bit of luck bit will of tell. Luck. Golden Horn. Because crossword road of the world. Constantinople. May 1511. So he's like 40. Just like, like 40, 50 ish. If I'm remembering. Maybe, maybe closer to. I don't remember when he was born. Magnificent sight. It is a work in progress. No city in Europa has a skyline quite like this. Well, to be precise, that is Europa. That is Asia. Ah. Some borders even the Ottomans cannot move. Very few. You are Italian by the sound of it. But your outfit is not. Have you been traveling long? Si. I'm Alto Tempo. I left Very Rome 12 months ago, looking for inspiration. And that search brought me here. When I was a child, my father told me stories about the fall of Constantinople. You must mean the conquest of Constantinople. I suppose the moral of any story matches the temper of the man telling it. That we can agree on. Guzel! Constantinople is a city for all kinds and creeds. Students like me, or uh, travelers such as yourself. I have so much work to return to, but it is good to be home. Work? When I was your age, my interests were... were mainly... Salve. Incredible. I am surprised you got anything done. As was my mother. <laughs> As was my mother. Fair. Speaking with you, they his, his mother was always surprised that he ever actually system. managed to do anything. I have faith I will. Other than have children. Grazie, dear boy. A scholar Aww. and a gentleman. You are full of surprises. <laughs> Very few, my friend. Exceed all mine. Welcome, brother. Unless the legend is a lie, you are the man I long to meet. Renowned master and mentor. It's your auditory, the la la la. Prego. Uh, forgive me. I have a hard time remembering that Italian gibberish. Da Firenze. The city where I was born. Ah, yes. Uh, so, by your custom, I would be Yusuf Tazim da Istanbul. I like that. I like that Istanbul. too. Yet another name for this city. Evet, it's a local favorite. Uh, come, Mentor da Firenze. I will show you around. Mentor da Firenze. Mentor of. Aww. That was the that guy we, I was just talking to. Not the guy who. Da la la la. Um. 
not used to the guy from the ship who was carrying the packages for the lady. Prince Suleiman. That Prince Suleiman. Um, because of course Ezio was friends with Prince Suleiman. All right. Um, all right. Before I do that, though, real quick, uh, do I have anything new to notice? No. Not at this point. Okay. Let's look at the map. Ah, look at all that. Templar Zone liberated just by existing. Look at that. Um, Alright, cool. Alright, so I'm going to actually go... Eh, no, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to the users of the front here. What's up, man? Master Assassin Yusuf Tazim da Istanbul welcomed you to Constantinople and uh, would like to give you a tour. Get to know him and the city. Do not wander far from you. Welcome to Galata district. For centuries, it has been a home like orphans from, from Europa and Asia alike. You won't find more diversity anywhere else in the city. And for that reason, assassins make it their home. I would like to see where. Kishin Likle. The Brotherhood is always eager to meet the man who put the Borgias out to pasture. <laughs> oh. Does everyone in this city know I'm here already? Well, your Holy Land tussle with the Templar did not go unnoticed. When I first set out, violence was so far from my mind. I sought wisdom. The contents of Altair's library. <laughs> Not realizing it has been sealed for three centuries? No, I assumed as much. But I never expected to find Templars guarding it. Very troubling, no? Five years ago, Templar influence here was minimal. A small faction with dreams of restoring the Byzantine throne. But they're growing in number, day by day. And with Sultan Bayezid on his way out. They may try something dramatic. Is there no heir to the Ottoman throne? There's some shit Not going just on. one, two angry sons. It's a familiar pattern with these royals. When the Sultan coughs, <laughs> the princes draw their swords. Put the sword away. Between the Templars and the Ottomans, you must stay busy. Ezio, I barely have time to polish my blade. Ooh! Dude threw his sword like a badass! Get him! Corner the rat! Well, the skin of me, man! It must have worked. Ezio, there! Another way! Of course. No, no. Watch. Byzantium is dead, as are you. The whole city wakens to welcome you, Ezio. First the regents, now the rats. Ottoman soldiers have a special loathing for these Byzantine thugs. That gives us some breathing room. How much? Eh, just a little. They'll still kill you if you look at them wrong. But they will feel bad about it later. Touching. It's Ottomans not so versus bad, the really. Byzantines. For the first time in many decades, the assassins have a strong presence here. It wasn't always that way. Under the Byzantine Emperor, the assassins were hunted down and killed on the spot. We're almost there. They could have planned the uh, walking path a little bit better.
This way. You keep saying that. Excuse me. Full synchronization. Oops. Ah, there's the door. Mentor, say hello to your extended family. Salute a voi, Assassini. It is an that. honor to find such fast friends so far from home. You see, brothers? Our mentor is not afraid to weep openly in front of pupils. Do not worry. <laughs> I will not make a habit out of it. Ezio and I were ambushed on the way here. I'd like some of you to do a sweep of the area. Hey, man! And you, Ezio. Your weapons and armor are in a pitiful state. Indeed. Maybe find some money and repair what you can. There is a blacksmith nearby. He's a friend. What an idea. Good idea. Explore Galeta District and upgrade equipment. Can do. Alright, let's look around the uh, assassin's headquarters here. They have a bridge and water inside. Ooh, it's gonna be damp. Um, let's see here. What do we got in here? Oh, over here. Uh, this is the assassin. Um, fuck what they call them. Uh, I don't remember what they're called, but um, they're assassin uh, challenges, basically. Weapons room. Okay. Okay. We got some, but some guy, uh, some people hanging around. Me. Pretty cool. Uh, ooh, I already have a couple of swords here. The captain's sword and the Milanese, uh sword and the that one. Um, okay, so you're plus two, plus one, plus one, plus two, equivalent plus two, or plus one, plus one, plus two. Um. I think I'm gonna take the one that's a, a net gain on everything. Milanese sword. Alright. Your presence honors me. Oh, and we got another Peace guy here. Sharpening. You, mentor. Sharpening, uh, sharpening a sword there. And here's the assassin uh, sword that I just had. I love the design of it. Um, Always an honor, Mentor. Doing some math work there. Map work there, not math work. I mean, maybe math involved, but. Alright. Oh. I, I, think, I think out of all the different hideouts that they have in the Ezio trilogy, I think this one is my favorite one by basic design and concept. You know? It's like, um, Monte Rigioni is cool. And with the sanctum and everything, but and the the place in Brotherhood, meh. But I, I think just the general ambiance of this place is my is my whole shtick. So this is the armor my room. Respect, mentor. And mentor. It is good to see you. I'm glad to see you enjoying yourself and relaxing a little bit there, man. All right. And, okay, we got um, another door. What's this way? Ah! Fast travel tunnel. Good to know. Good to know. Remember, I will be going half an hour later than normal because of um, the some technical difficulties at the start of the stream. Oh, and a library. They have a library. Oh, is this Yusuf? Or is this... Nope. An Not honor you. to serve. Honor to meet you. Alright, cool. Alright, cool. So that was the tour. And, oh wait, there's more. Okay. 
Oh man, I still love the. Oh, look at the ceiling. Ooh. Okay. Aesthetic, that's the word I was looking for, not ambiance. Honored. Always mentor. And we got a couple of things here. What's what's these? Fused shell. Salt of Petra. Okay, that's not something I can interact with yet. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And here's the door. Buy new armor. The most distinguished clients grace this shop. The elite. How much do I need? Wait. Yes. Let me look at the mission first. It just says my new armor. I no only one. serve the elite. Yes, I know. Don't worry. Okay. Yep, I can afford that. You cannot. You will not find fairer prices than these, friends. Just look at my wares and see for yourself. Armor upgrades provide bonuses to your maximum health. Armor receives uh, damage each time you are hit. Repair your armor and flex. Praise the heavens! We feared we had lost our mentor to the vices of the big city. I was gone five minutes. I am content with my own vices, grazie. So, what's on your mind, Ezio? Tell me more about the Templars. You call them Byzantines. The Byzantine Empire was overthrown 60 years ago. These men are remnants of a line loyal to the cause of the last Emperor, Constantine XI. Who leads them now, however? I cannot say. Capisco. I suppose it is up to me to find out. It's you. Where is your hook blade? My hook blade? You've never seen one? I grew up using these. Hmm. Show me how it works. Each uh, assassin brotherhood around the world has uh, their own tweaks and specialties. So here we have the hook blade. And, um, and I mean, individual assassins can have their own different shticks as well, because um, uh, Xiao Jun, I think is her name, um, from China, who we will meet in different in different stuff. Um, she has, in addition to her wrist hidden blade, she's got a hidden blade in her boot, um, which is great. And then there's um, Connor in Assassin's Creed Three. He his uh, his offhand hidden blade. Uh, I think it's offhand. One of his hidden blades, if not both of. Uh, uh, Hidden blade, it can be rotated into a dagger in his offhand. Anyway, uh, follow Yusuf to learn how to use the new hook blade. Perform every hook blade move successfully at least once. Okay. Let's see if I can remember. Think of the hook blade as an extension of yourself, Ezio. You can extend and re extend it and reach to jump further across gaps. Fair. That's a collectible I'll grab later. You 
think I cannot make this one? Didn't hmm. break a sweat. <laughs> So normally that would have swung me around the side, but I could also use it to go forward now. So like, normally it would do this. But... Because of the hook blade, I can now do that. Hey thief, what's up? Oh, you're waiting on me. Sorry, man. Watch and learn, Ezio. We call this a hook and run. Hook and run. Nice. Sprint at your opponent, and just as you reach him, use the hook blade to slip by. Harika! Nice. The hook and run. The standard Ottoman hook blade has two parts, you see. The hook and the blade, so you can use one or the other. An elegant design. How about Which the means it's also an assassin, uh, a mm -hmm. hidden blade. Bye bye, blade. Let's go. <laughs> Proud owner of the Ottoman hook blade and needs a bit of training to master it. Training Yusuf is more than happy to provide. Climb the tower in under 60 seconds. I shall do my best. Alright. Having fun? That's right. Let the hoop blade do the work. Ishtebuile. Throw yourself into it. Sorry, Ezio. That was on me. Ezio. Come on, do what I'm telling you to do, Ezio. Then push the jump button. Welcome to Constantinia, Ezio. The crossroads of the world. Many generations of men have ruled this city, but they have never subdued her. She always bounces back. It seems a fine place to call home. It is. Race you to the bottom. All right, before we jump down, I'm actually going to come over here. And saw this coming up. So that I don't have to worry about getting it later. Alright, now we'll sink this viewpoint. And Yeet of Fate. I am impressed, Yusuf. My brothers in Roma would like this. Just give credit where it is due. Yusuf, Chabuk Buri again! Uh, huh? An attack on two fronts, Galata and the Grand Bazaar. Every day, the same bad news. How is your I love that they also have ma I some of them have I'm masks over their face man. from the hoods. To further protect their identities. Word has reached Yusuf that the Templars are attacking two separate assassin dens. Follow Yusuf while he conceives a plan. Form a zip line assassination. I shall try. Uh, 
When he tires of running, an assassin must take to the air. Watch. Templar scout. And another there. Watch this. Zip line is that the new. Assassin! Help! <laughs> loot the body. Time to part company. I'll head to the bazaar. You stay here. Do you see that tower? See. Si. The Galata Den. Evet. I can't be in two places at once, but with you here, I don't have to be. Hi there, Ascale. I love, I love Yusuf so much. Don't worry about it, sir. Climb the tower, please. <laughs> Even has the assassin symbol at the top. It's not where the viewpoint is, but I wanted to go up and... Yeah. <laughs> oh! But I just got up there. <laughs> Silly game. I mean, in the game's defense, they didn't. They had no way of knowing that that's not what I wanted it to do. There you go, Edgar. <laughs> safe, and now we go talk to the person I need to talk to. Is Yusuf with you? It is an honor. An attack in this city demands his attention. What is our situation? We beat back the vanguard, but they are sure to send more troops. Are your men ready for another fight? They are now. <laughs> On the defense. The Templars are preparing to attack the Galata de Assassin Den. Lead your fellow assassins in its defense. Can do. Can do. Candy duty. Candy duty. The hell is wrong with me sometimes? Alright. 
So, base control, use that, uh, that and that. Uh, block rooftop defending units cannot be placed until the rooftop... Oh, okay. Make your stand okay. there. Secure that there. point. The crossbowman. Put a crossbow there. Hold that there. point for me. I need one you there. to hold that point. One there. Ah, good enough. Make your stand there. Install barricade in the street. Okay. Uh, let's put you there. And we'll. We do not have another one. Enough for another one. Okay, so assassin leader. Generates morale and influence units with their, with their radius. Increase the stall, Templar advance, and assassin crossbow. damage but slow firing rate deadly even against armored targets okay. so we'll make those a little bit throw in some crossbowmen as well um. oh I know left. hold that point for me two more morale come on defend that area I can help as well. I need you to hold that point. Defend that area. Make your stand there. Hold there. Make your stand there. Make your stand there. Oh, 
Hey, you better run away. Assassins lost four. Aw. Cannon shots fired one. Oh, that's right. Because that's uh huh. Um. Sends remaining health fifteen. Morale remaining six. Duration five. Total percentage eighty two percent. Thank you. Okay. Uh, a hundred money. Assassins apprentice XP eight hundred. And various things. Air Assassin. Send word if the Templars regroup. I will be with Yusuf at the Grand Bazaar Den. Take a ferry across the Halic. It's the fastest way to the peninsula. All right. And uh that's the start of Assassin's Creed Revelations. Um Oh man. And we've already get we're already getting revenue. Um I'm going to do that and then that. All right. So that's it's almost time um for us to call it a night um remember that the vod of the stream will be going up on youtube hopefully no later than tomorrow morning also available on my youtube is every prior stream excuse me um assassin's creed 1 2 brotherhood and tomb raider 1 as well as the progress we progress we've made in tomb raider 2 um as well as a, uh, some other things that are that are on over on youtube so make sure you go you guys go check that out uh, if you're actually watching this on YouTube, uh, I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you. Um, please like and subscribe and share me around, you know? Give me a comment. Tell me... Tell me how stupid I am, <laughs> you know? I don't care. Um, but yeah. And if you come back tomorrow, I will be playing... Uh, I will be continuing Tomb Raider Tuesday uh, with the classic Tomb Raider 2. Uh, we will be starting the Temple of Xi'an, I believe. Temple of Xi'an. Uh, and, uh, yeah. We're pretty close to the end with this game, with Tomb Raider 2. Um, but, yeah, before you go, um, you should follow me on my socials. Um, I have Facebook, uh, Facebook page, Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, Discord, Instagram, Tumblr links. Those are all available inside my link tree, which is now down below on the screen. Um, and uh, yeah, um, I mentioned the Discord. Uh, you should join me on Discord. I've got some, uh, you know, come say hi, come hang out. You know, you know, you know, come say hi, come hang out. 
Um, also, these names up here at the top, you should all check them out. Uh, they're all amazing people and and, twi and streamers and whatever. Um, you should check definitely check them out. There's even more recommendations of mine in this link tree down here. Um, and, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, this last bit is very important. So make sure you guys pay very close attention. Remember that you matter. Don't forget. Don't forget that. You matter. You are important. You are love. And you deserve love. You have to take care of yourself. Taking time off from things. Social media. Strengthening. Knocking your water bottle over. Fighting for your right to live. Whatever it is, you have to take, you, you know, take time off from it if you need it. Um, taking time off from it for your own mental health is a good thing. Because your physical and mental health both matter. Um, if you need them, I have crisis resources available, uh, listed in my link tree. Um, I'm also putting them in the Twitch chat. They are resources for domestic violence, suicide prevention, substance abuse, and sexual assault. So if you or anyone you know are dealing with any of those things, please, please, please go to those links or, you know, whatever else. Um, as far as I'm aware, they're free. They're, they should be free as last I knew they were. Um, and, um, but unfortunately they're, they're only available in the States. So if you're not from the States or you're not in the States, uh, the country you're in, I believe has their own versions. I'm not sure. So check Google. I'm sure you'll be able to find what you're looking for there. But basically if you need help, ask for it. Um, beyond, beyond that, wear your mask, wash your hands, get vaccinated. Even if you are vaccinated, you should still continue to wear your mask and socially distance and all of that. Because even if you are vaccinated, you can still transmit the disease to other people. Uh, and you can still even get sick. It's just that it, the symptoms won't be as bad. Um, potentially. But yeah, so continue to take care, continue to be safe, continue to have empathy be kind be safe love yourself and love everyone around you thank you for coming and i will see you all next time i love you all peace out